Eureka! Finally got there. The Death Valley Road to Eureka Road. Go we'll check it out. <laughs> and the light switch on. Now I'm gonna talk to the boys, see if they wanna they wanna deflate or what. I hear them chattering on the radio, I'm not listening, but eh, they'll get it. This is Death Valley National Park. And I didn't really tell you where you're at. But we were here. So we came to this uh this one intersection right here. And that red section is all paved and then comes non-paved. And now here we are. So we're gonna go to Eureka Dunes and that should be that should cover this park and from there we'll make our way out of the park. Right, yeah. That's where we're at. Boys are coming in. You can kind of see the Eureka Dunes. Well, not anymore. But when you're back over there, you can see them. They're just right over there. Right there over there. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Up in the distance, you can see Eureka Dunes. get bigger from that point at the corner it says uh, 10 miles but I didn't check to see how far away but yeah it's coming up they get bigger and bigger and bigger as the closer we get all right later a little excitement just saw a couple of f-18s uh, do a bombing run on the on the sand dune the eureka dunes <laughs> That was freaking cool. Couldn't get it out quick enough. They they come all, along the front side here, and then they sharp bank to the right and behind it, and then they take off through the mountains over there. But uh, man, that was cool. Too bad I don't have a real camera. <laughs> Just a phone. Oh boy. And if, the moment I put it away, you watch. They're, they're gonna come by again. All right, I'm gonna pretend like they're not coming back later. All right, Eureka, Eureka Dunes. What'd they say? Largest dunes in North America? Continue two miles. I guess we're, that's two miles away, I guess. Stay on designated roads. Restoration in progress. Area closed. Okay. Don't ask me to read that. Wilderness. Something wilderness. Hey, there's a little uh, either outhouse or guard shack. I'm going to guess outhouse. I guess this pretty much uh, completes our trip here. Death Valley from here is either camp, head over to Reward Mine, and over to Bishop for some mahogany uh, smoked meats. Give me some the sweet and spicy.
Let's see, are we gonna get another retreat from the F-18s? Uh, no, probably not. Hey, we have high fire rings here. Boys might want to camp here, who knows, we'll see. All right, we were supposed to camp here last night, maybe, but that didn't happen. It was too much. All righty, yeah. yeah. Get outside real quick. Let's see what we got. There goes the boys way over there. There. You can hear the jets. On the other side of that mountain range. Oh, geez, look for the perspective here. You can see people walking way over there see him right smack yeah, pretty much in the middle of the screen yeah. that's the dunes fire rings usually fire rings means camping so there's a few of them one two three Four. I see four fire rings and an outhouse. I don't know if there's another one behind that car, but four fire rings. All right. That's it for, for now. Take it easy. Okay, I'm over here on top of the Eureka Dunes. See an F-18 inbound. Gonna give us another show. Perfect. <laughs> keep climbing up this mountain of sand. Yeah, I did. Hey, there's more campgrounds over there. I can see two fire rings from here. Yeah, I wanted to get, I'm not going up to the top top. There, I'm going just to the front. Get a good view. It's a workout. <laughs> good thing I left my sweatshirt back there. Maybe I am going to the top, I don't know. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> yeah, it gets deeper. I'm gonna sign off for now. Well, I set out to come to this little knoll so we can film the front side of the sand dune. That was my goal. That wasn't my goal, <laughs> but I might. Just catching my breath right now. Let's check out the valley. Maybe if I stay long enough, we'll get another F-18 coming through here. Might be the same guy. 
Whew. Anyway, yep. So, all right, signing up for now. Where does the steam coming from? You can hear him. I don't see him. Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. He's flying probably about 300 feet above, above ground. See if I can zoom in on him. Oh wow, he is low. I'm saying 200 feet above ground level. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here he comes, here he comes. He, he, he loves the photo. Photo up. Okay. Oh shit. I just I just I just fucked up my knee. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, my yeah, I know. Hey, you just got to do this target practice. Yeah, he was uh, waving. Fuck, man. Oh, man, my knee. Fuck, I don't want to fall that way either. <laughs> All right. Fuck. All right. I'm in filming. That's a different guy. So I reached my goal and then some, and about three fourths of it, and then some. That's when I got blasted. <laughs> oh, I should have had my earplugs in for that one, but at least I got them in for all the other times. But, uh, yeah, that was cool. Down at semi level ground, I want to call it that. John, you missed it! Should have hired a dog sitter. <laughs> Knee's not feeling too bad anymore, just a tight, tidy bit on the left side of my left knee. Nothing a bowl of hot wings, camp picks. All right, that I'm not gonna say is the highlight of the trip, but it was the highlight of the trip. Actually, a lot of things highlight the trip the Yubi Hibi Road. <laughs> Being with friends, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Got to take Big Orange on its fourth outing. I thought a third, but fourth. But uh, and this one is one heck of an outing. All right, y'all have a good one.